question number 1 which book by paulo coelho has a main character named santiago the answer is the alchemist Born on August 24, 1947 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Paulo Coelho de Souza is a world-renowned novelist. Also a lyricist. Among his novels, Alchemist became a famous novel all over the world. The Alchemist unfolds in the form of a story of the life of a young shepherd boy named Santiago who pursues his destiny by following a dream that see over and over again. Although the book flows like a personal epic journey on the surface, in reality it is a wonderful creation that conveys deep meanings capable of expanding life more and more. Through this book, the author has succeeded in proving that if one dares to pursue his destiny, he can win it. Also, this book brings out the beauty of love, the strengths and weaknesses inherent in humanity. Question number 2 what is Dan Brown's most popular best-selling book? The answer is The Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci Code, written by the famous American writer Daniel Gerhard Brown, is a great book that has caused controversy all over the world. This book, which has become one of the world's bestsellers, has been translated into many languages. The background of this book, which caused controversy all over the world, was the historical story presented here, with the Catholic community as the main focus. The novel also mentions the painting of The Last Supper and Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, who is also known as a pioneer of cryptographic reading. Dan Brown creates a picture in the reader's mind about a history that we have not seen and that we do not know. The end of the story leaves us unable to ascertain whether the contents of the book are to be believed as true information, or dismissed as myth. The story is successfully built by blending fiction, legend and truth together. Question number 3 What book was written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez in 1985? The answer is Love in the Time of Cholera. Love in the Time of Cholera is a novel written in Spanish and published in 1985 by Colombian Nobel Prize winning author Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Gabriel Garcia Marquez dedicated this book, based on a love story in the midst of cholera, to his wife. Her name is Mercedes Barcher. Without further ado, the acknowledgement of the book is briefly as follows. For Mercedes, of course. The story, which deals with themes of love, aging, and death, takes place in a South American community in the late 1870s and early 1930s, troubled by wars and outbreaks of cholera. Florentino Ariza, the main character of the book, loses his girlfriend Fermina Doza at the age of 22 because she married someone else. But Florentino Ariza has been celibate for 56 years, waiting for her husband to die. Question number 4 which book by Hugh Stein Goddard has a main character named Sophie Armanderson? The answer is Sophie's World. Sophie's World is a novel written in 1991 by Norwegian writer Justin Garda. It became a bestseller in Norway and won the Deutsche Jugend Literaturpreis in 1994. Sophie's World is a story written around a 14-year-old girl's wonderful attempt to understand the entire human philosophy that has existed so far. Her name is Sophie Amundsen. Who are you? And where does the world come from? One day Sophie finds two notes in her mailbox with these two strange questions. This is where the wonderful book Sophie's World began. Question number five. Which world-famous book was written by Albert Camus in 1947? The answer is The Plague. Born in 1917 in Mondovi, a French Algerian city, Albert Camus was a French philosopher. He wrote many books like The Stranger, The Fall, The Plague, The Myth of Sisyphus, The Rebel. He also received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1957, becoming the second youngest recipient in the history of the Nobel Prize. 
Camus published The Plague in 1947. It is a complicated novel. The background of this story is Iran, which was a very ordinary commercial city. This tells about a terrible epidemic that has come into the sleepy society of the city, who are slaves to the habits of their lives. In his work, Camus focuses on the themes of freedom, struggle, love, the inability of man as an individual to influence his destiny, the perversity of life without meaning. As he points out, no matter how absurd human destiny is, meaning can be added to it through the continuous struggle for freedom. The Plague is a great novel because it reveals human nature like hope, loneliness, pain, fear. Question number 6. What book was written by D. H. Lawrence in 1928? The answer is Lady Chatterley's Lover. Lady Chatterley's Lover is the last novel by English author D. H. Lawrence, which was first published privately in 1928, in Italy, and in 1929, in France. Immediately after its publication, it was considered obscene and was banned in Great Britain and the United States of America. David Herbert Richards Lawrence was born on September 11, 1885 in the village of Eastwood, Nottinghamshire, England. He was a poet, dramatist, literary critic as well as a painter. Lawrence, who was subjected to official and unofficial repression throughout his life due to the more controversial ideas used for literary themes was considered after his death as one of the greatest English writers of the 20th century. Question number 7. Which book by Polish Jewish pianist and composer Waldislaw Spilman describes his life during the Second World War? The answer is The Pianist. This is an incredible true story of a man who survived the fires of war in Warsaw, Poland during World War 1939-1945. The memoirs of a young Jewish pianist who survives the Nazi occupation of Warsaw as the flames of Second World War rise and his entire family goes to the gas ovens it is unique among all the others. That have been. Wladyslaw Spillman was a Polish classical musician. He studied music at the German Academy of Arts until 1933. When Hitler came to power in 1933, he returned to his country and joined the Polish radio service. The family of Spillman, who lived peacefully until then, reveals the terrible experiences they faced with the start of World War in this memoir. Spillman published this book, which was completed in 1943, but it was censored. It was later republished in 1995 by his son Andres. Question number 8. Which novel was published by American writer Ernest Hemingway in 1952? The answer is The Old Man and the Sea. But man is not made for defeat. A man can be destroyed but not defeated. Those immortal words, which have been added to the world literature, belong to a poor old fisherman. The man who put those wonderful words into the fisherman's mouth was none other than Ernest Miller Hemingway. In 1954, Hemingway's book titled The Old Man and the Sea, which contains those wonderful words that glorify man's courage and self-strength as well as his immense determination was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1954. In the same year it won the Pulitzer Prize which is America's highest award. The protagonist here is a fisherman named Santiago. Here, Santiago, an old but experienced fisherman who spends 84 days in the far sea without catching a fish, describes the great struggle he takes despite his life to catch a huge fish called Merlin, which he meets on the 85th day. Ernest Hemingway, who lived according to the philosophy mentioned in his book, suffered from many diseases for many years. Finally, at the age of 61, he does not let the disease defeat his body and kills himself with his gun. Question number 9. Which book was written by Anne Frank describing her life during Second World War? The answer is The Diary of a Young Girl. Born on June 12, 1929 in Frankfurt, Germany. 
and Frank was a girl who grew up surrounded by the love and affection of all her family and friends but because there was no one trustworthy enough to share everything she felt without hiding it. She started writing her diary. Not long after the beginning of writing, because the Second World War began to affect the lives of the Dutch Jews, and went to hide with her family in the secret annex of her father's office taking her diary with her, and kept notes in her diary until her arrest in August 1944. Anne, who was arrested, breathed her last in the bergen belsen camp in Germany, and later Anne's father, who survived the war, published this diary, making Anne's hopes come true. This little girl's diary, which has brought tears to the eyes of hundreds of thousands of readers around the world, overcomes the bitterness of war and these notes written by Anne with the delicate hope that one day everything will return to normal tell the world about the meaninglessness of wars that take thousands of innocent lives. Question number 10. Which book was written by Leo Tolstoy in 1878? The answer is Anna Karenina. The novel Anna Karenina is one of the best works of the Russian writer Leo Tolstoy, which has a very high place among the works of universal literature. Through this work, Tolstoy has tried to show the human mind in a profound way, as no writer before him has done. With his pen, he portrayed the characters more vividly. Then, according to the way those characters act, explaining why they act like that is one of the special features seen in Tolstoy's works. Tolstoy had a simple and clear style. He never made an unnecessary effort to establish that style by force. Anna, a flawless and innocent beauty, leaves her husband and only child and has an affair with an officer named Ronsky. She runs away with Ronsky, unable to see her child, and secretly returns home to her husband. The experience she will face there will shock the reader. Tolstoy has sensitively depicted the love of a real mother and the separation of the child in a realistic manner. Although her only hope is to love Ronsky and live with him, her baseless suspicion keeps her away from Ronsky. Tolstoy has created Anna's thoughts very realistically as she is often tormented by this boundless doubt. At the end, Anna's suicide leaves the reader with a deep shock and is presented in vivid reality. <laughs>